What's going on guys, Gold Sovereign here, back again for another video, um, and like I said yesterday, um, we've got the final review today of the last map, which is called Showdown, um, and as I said yesterday as well, uh, I didn't do too well at all really, um, not a great gameplay at all, hard point, another game mode that I don't really like along with Cookie Confirmed, um, I am just a stickler for the classics, sort of team deathmatch guy, uh, Free for all and other variations of free for all like gun game. Um, so yeah, I am I am a bit sort of uh, not so diverse in my uh, gameplays, um, but you know that's just the way it is. Um, so yeah, I didn't have a bad start at all. In fact, when I just got this start, I thought maybe there's sort of some sort of promise. Um, so I got um, all the way up to UAV um, and I was close to a wraith. Um, made a poor decision. Um, which you'll see later on. Um, now, I will say that I played very objective in this game. Um, we had, well, I was lucky enough to have someone on my team um, that did very, very, very well in um, this game, uh, considering that the map is brand new. Um, he's clearly learned it fast um, and got used to it fast. Um, so, yeah, straight off, we've got that left side um, from where I started, right hand side even from where I started. Um, which is where a lot of action happens. So there's sort of a, a gap, um, jump up to a bridge, um, and a gap down the opposite side. Um, and then as you've seen there, there's a small room where you can jump off the balcony into the main area. Um, and after that, I followed it through and came onto this right-hand side, or this ha this sort of starting side where I believe C flag is. Um, and on the side, you've got a disco um, and a big building that you can't get into um, and a path that goes all the way around it. Um, so yeah, as I say, in this game mode, in this game, I did play very objective. Um, probably could have got a few more kills, um, maybe a few less deaths um, if I had left the objective um, and tried to sort of move around it and things. Um, but I thought, you know, it's better to sort of play objective, get the game done, um, get another win under the belt. Um, so on this side of the map, um, again, very open. Um, not too much action really happens here. It's more sort of what well, a hard point it does, um, obviously because there's a hard point there, so that's where the action happens. Um, but in other game modes, it's all happening in the central area, um, which I should run through here, um, where you've got sort of your main sort of ring here in the middle that I just jumped onto. Um, and other than that, it's quite open. Um, you've got your balcony at the other end, like I said, um, and then windows overlooking from each side, um, and four sort of entry points, um, not including the balcony. Um, in terms of approach, personally, I, I don't actually know which approach to use. Probably get an assault rifle, um, as there's going to be some long range bits, some short range. Um, it's probably, I don't know, with the SMGs in Black Ops 3, uh, you could probably get away with it for quite a long time, um, but you're never going to get the, the brilliant sort of gameplay that you would get with um, a good assault rifle. Um, I've been playing a lot of uh, past CODs recently, hence why I tried to uh, stab him there, because I was used to the stab being a one-hit kill, um, which is unfortunate. Um, otherwise, I would have probably just sprayed him and maybe got that kill. Um, so, yeah, looking down on the opposite side now, there's sort of a big rocky area. Um, I come in here, I'm unfortunate that my uh, heat wave didn't hit that person that was jumping behind the rock. Um, but yeah, and going underneath, this is one of the sort of top tips for going around here, because um, you completely avoid the room upstairs um, and any chance of dying up there. Although I do die quite a lot trying to get this objective here. Probably didn't do it very tactically. Um, maybe should have gone up on that bridge anyway, spotted off a few people and then moved in. Um, but I do get a few kills eventually here. I'm fortunate not to get the third, um, but just too much gunpowder um, against me there. So yeah, like I say, with this map, uh, not a big fan, I must admit. I really, aesthetically, it looks beautiful, I have to say. Um, but as an actual playable map, I don't think it works too well. Um, same with Rift, I don't think it works too well. They've gone for aesthetics, they've gone for trying to sort of show off their wall run, um, and that hasn't worked all that well at all, really. Um, so yeah, it's not, I can't say it's the, it's one of my favorite maps because it just isn't. Um, it would be it may be good for free for all things like that, um, but at the moment as it's not in proper circulation, um, it's only really on the um, 
its own sort of special playlist. Um, you don't get gamers like that on there, um, so we haven't been able to test it out like that. So maybe you know, in the future, there'll be a video of me um, sort of eating my shorts, eating my words, um, and sort of um, saying that I do like this map for free for all for, for gun game and things like that. Um, but at the moment, I just cannot see it um, because on team-based games, this map really, uh, for me, just doesn't function very well at all. Um, so yeah, um, sort of future plans. I'm going back to uh, Custom Zombies. I've downloaded a few. Um, I've got a few more downloading now. Um, and yeah, so I should have loads of them coming up. Um, should be going a bit more consistent because with them, um, I filmed my first attempt and that's it. It's not like here where I've had to search for a good gameplay play a couple of hours um, to get you know a really good gameplay although I was quite lucky with the other two maps because they sort of um, were quite quick but with these I was searching for about two hours on each one with this one and Rift um, and in the end just didn't get a good gameplay um, so I've ended up giving you a bit of rubbish gameplay um, but with hopefully um, a good view of the map and um, a good well I, I was going to say a good review of the map then but I'm, I've realised in doing these how crap I am at reviews because I just get completely sidetracked um, and then I'm talking about absolute crap there's nothing really to do with the map um, so yeah but I hope you've enjoyed these reviews um, sort of I'll probably do it again for the next map pack hopefully um, by then I would have got a bit better at reviewing maps um, you know but that's sort of the, the way the cookie crumbles um, and like I said with, the, with these two maps um, I just couldn't get a good gameplay Hopefully the next map pack, I love all four maps, I'll be able to get a good gameplay on all four maps. Um, and it, it will just fall into place. Um, but yeah, that's, that's sort of the hope. Um, I'm going to stop talking about this map now, and just for the last sort of 30, 40 seconds, um, I'm just going to sort of talk about the new COD, uh, Infinite Warfare, that's coming out. Um, so I'm super, super excited about that. Um, and everyone's sort of everyone's slaying it, saying, "Oh, we just want the the COD Four remaster, things like that." Um, and I'm sort of back in the trend here. I, I'm really looking forward to Infinite Warfare. It's, it's another sort of um, chapter. Um, I want to see what they can bring to the table because you know there's no point saying, "Oh, I'm not going to like it" before you even tried it, before there's even been a proper gameplay trailer. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like people are just too quick to judge nowadays. Um, so you know, wait till it's been out a month, wait for them to sort out a few issue pro like problems, um, and then give it an honest review. Um, and with COD Four, I never actually played COD Four, um, the original, so I'm super excited to get my hands on that one because um, it'll be my first time playing through it. And uh, yeah, I'm just super excited for that. So here we go. This is the end of the video now. Um, when we finally get our last point, uh, we absolutely dominated the game, um, points wise. So I, it pretty much went that I got all the objective and the guy above me got all the kills. Um, but that's the way it goes, unfortunately. I'd like to get both, but that's just not the way it works. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again next time.